than expected on the market. We've seen that, that uh, we're up 0.3 of a percent, uh, a whole number of factors, as I just mentioned. Uh, do you think that we'll actually be able to maintain this strength throughout the session? Well, there's very little uh, economic data out locally here today, so we will take the leads from offshore, and that will point our market higher this morning. Um, as we saw some good news coming out around the globe, um, confidence was dented earlier this week when we saw Spain move back into the spotlight. However, they did auction off some bills last night, over 3 billion euros worth. Uh, they were at higher yields, but demand for these were very strong. Now, they will be also auctioning off 10-year treasuries, uh, I think, tomorrow night. And we did see a drop of about 18 basis points to um, back below 6% in the 10-year yield for Spain, which was good news overnight. Uh, the other big news was the IMF report that came out and they've upgraded their uh, outlook for global growth for 2012. We've seen them increase that to 3.5%. Uh, it was previously 3.3%. And um, it also upgraded the US growth to over 2%, which was previously at 1.8%. So this was uh, taken uh, as a positive by investors. It boosted markets higher. Um, it also boosted commodity prices. We saw oil and um, most base metals all gained overnight. So that should bode well for our, um, com our miners and resources stocks today but as I did mention not much economic data out today so hopefully we can hang on to the leads we make this morning. Though some of those uh, divisions have come in weaker for Rio they are still in line with those expectations so in terms of uh, investor sentiment when in relation to the numbers what are you expecting to see in trading today? Well, uh, it looked like BHP was going to open higher this morning, though the broader market was all, was um, heading upwards this morning. But as Peter uh, rightfully mentioned, I mean, we saw yesterday with Rio's results, they state these uh, production figures in terms of year-on-year -year, uh, gains and percentages, which isn't really a fair comparison. We should be comparing this to the December quarter in 2011, because that's really going to highlight uh, what kind of effect the weather impacts they've been talking about is going to have had, as well as industrial relations uh, issues they've been having with their coal mining up in uh, up in Queensland. Uh, for iron ore, uh, that fell by 8% on quarter, which was probably a little bit better than expected. I think Bell Potter was expecting a 9% fall in iron ore production uh, for that quarter. Petroleum, it uh, we were expecting coming in around flat at 58 million barrels. It actually dropped to about 3%, so uh, that was close to expectations as well. But BHP in general, it's a diversified company. People buy into this for its uh, diversification into petroleum as well as base metals. Mm -hmm. uh, while copper performed quite well, it was flat. Um, it certainly outperformed Rio's copper assets. Um, a lot of the other base metals fell on the quarter, so if you are looking at BHP for a base metals play. The result wasn't that great in that respect, but it looks like the stock will rise today. And Tim, while you're there, Perseus Mining saying that it's on track to deliver on its gold production targets for the June quarter. Run us through those numbers. It has its increased uh, gold production to 39,000 ounces for the quarter. That's sort of at the upper end of its guidance of 35 to 40,000 ounces. Um, it's up on the last quarter's production of just over 35,000, so that's an increase of around 8%. Uh, however, the average price they received for their gold did fall. That came down to around $1,513 an ounce, down from over $1,600 received in the previous quarter. But on a positive, cash costs did fall for the company. Now, it's got a, a mine in Ghana, the Etikin mine. Their production has been focused on ramping this up. It has the ability to, uh, to produce some significant gold volumes um, at low to moderate cost. So this is good for the company. Um, its second development uh, in the Ivory Coast, um, they're developing at the moment. Uh, this is this is going to be good. It can be funded by cash uh, held by the company as well as projected cash flows from its other uh, developments. So gold stocks haven't had a great quarter so far. We've seen Newcrest mining and Perseus mining well underperform the market as we have seen over the past few months the gold price pull back a little bit. But for, per, uh, for Perseus, their June quarter 2012 guidance was unchanged uh, at 50 to 50,000 uh, 50 50, uh, ounces and uh, costs to come in around $690 an ounce.